Hi besties! Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I have a short but maybe sweet <laughs> Timu haul. I'm not really even really sure what's in this bag, so <clears throat> yeah. My voice is a little weird today too, so excuse that. I don't know if I'm catching something or what, but um, let's just get right into this. Um, I will leave a link below e both in the comments and can't talk today both in the comments and in the description box i'll pin a comment down below with the uh cart link for all of this stuff in case you might be interested in purchasing any of it i am an affiliate with timu but that does not does 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 not affect my opinion of anything because if it's crap it's crap and i'll tell you i've bought many things off timu that i absolutely love and then i've got a few Things that ne didn't really flabber my gastage, you know, didn't really gast my flabbers or whatever, whatever you want to say. So this is going to be kind of a little haul, but I thought let's just go ahead and do it, you know. Okay, so I've seemingly bought two of these, and I haven't even tested the other one out yet for those of you that have asked. But this was three ninety eight. It is one of those pet hair remover tools. Um, we have three cats now. So I'm going to take this straight upstairs and use it. Um, now someone has told me that you want to do really kind of short, fast motion with this. And then you can empty it out here. Um, but they, I, I have heard nothing but good reviews on this from people in the comments. So I have very high hopes and expectations for this. It's called the world's best pet hair remover. They actually say that. So... That's how you use it. So, hey, I don't know. Maybe it is the world's best pet hair remover, but I am going to try it and I will check back. But like I said, I've had a couple people in the, like when I bought this the first time, I had a couple people in the comments say they use it and they love it. So for $3.98, if it works, then we're going to love it too. Okay. This is so, you guys, why do I do this to myself? Why do, I, okay, no, here's the even funnier thing about these nails is I'm wearing the exact same set so i've bought these many times they were 98 cents they are the pink with the gold this is literally the set <laughs> that i'm wearing right now i bought these several times i love this set for a dollar and i did use the three m tabs this time um not the ones that come with the nails but i bought like a whole separate um you know a, a separate item on timu that was just nail tabs because i wanted to see if they were any better or worse i think they'll be better um they feel like a little bit stronger so i don't know but we'll see but those those um nails are only a dollar so i think i've shown this before too but i bought this sticker it says i love thrifting it was a dollar 79 and i love thrifting i'm a big thrifter i'm a big recycler you know i like to get items and redo them completely um so yeah i absolutely love thrifting i thought i'll put this on my emotional support water bottle and it was a dollar 79 so i love that <clears throat> and then so i might have more than one of these in here because i'm stocking up on wig care items um so i can do a, a timu wig video for you guys um so this is a wig grip it was a dollar 48 and i will tell you what these are my favorite wig grips of all time um, I'll show you why I love these so much. It's a, they're so comfortable. <clears throat> the thing I like about them is one, they're very thin, and two, there's this strap in the back you can tighten or loosen. Usually, and so when wig grips kind of first came out, it was, and they still do this now, but it's just like one big strap you kind of put around, and it's, it, it tends to be a little bit bulky down at the nape, but this one won't be bulky at all because it's got this really skinny like a bra strap there and um yeah i use these all the time when i wear wigs and absolutely love it and also i like to match my wig grip with the roots of a wig so they're harder to see but yeah we will go over all of that in a wig video so i'm going to save this for a wig video and that was a dollar 48 for that which is a really good price because those <clears throat> excuse me those wig grips I was buying for almost $10 to $15 on Amazon. So, yeah. Okay, next is this item. It was $1.48. It's probably a lip, a lippy of some sort, maybe. I don't know. 
says smooth sculpting lipstick it's it kind of reminds me of like a color pop lipstick it's a nice color let's it's a nice color I really like that very kind of neutral I have lipstick on but let's go for it and uh Fanbody asks I got this cardigan from Shein and I love it I got a lot of compliments on it today. But yeah, so that's just like a little lippy, really nice. Lang, Langmanny is the company name. And the, the cats are playing, so that's them running around making all the noise. So yeah, $1.48 for that. Really like that. Okay, then I got another one of those lippies. This one must be in a different color. Let me see if this has a color on it. Or did I buy two of the same thing? This color that I just put on is color four and this one is color six so let's see they, they look the package well this one looks a little bit darker see one this one's like the package is a little bit darker so let's see if it's a little bit darker <sighs> I mean it's a little bit darker but it's kind of like a whole different color to be honest it's more of like a orange not orange I mean they're both pretty they're both very neutral pretty colors so those are $1.48 each I love lippies I'm like oh my gosh I buy so many of them okay this was $5.49 <laughs> what could it be oh you guys you're gonna laugh I bought several of these okay so actually I'm gonna save these for another haul because I have something special coming up with those so I'm going to save those for another haul. Okay, here's another wig grip. Um, this one is also $1.48, but this is a silicone wig grip. And these are not my favorite, but I know a lot of people that love these wig grips. And we will go over this one too in my wig video. But it's silicone and it goes around your head, you know. And then it's got these little nubs on it that will hold your wig in place. So these aren't usually my favorite favorite but they do work for some people and some people love them and I will tell you for $1.48 that is a bargain because I have seen people pay up to $25 for these silicone wig grips so that's a steal all right next up is some tape is this wig tape or is it just tape who knows let's see um yeah it's actually wig tape so we're gonna put that we're going to talk about this wig tape more in my wig video, Ultra Hold. It says you can leave your wig on two to four weeks with this stuff. I don't know, but you get three yards for $1.38, but we will go over that in my wig video. But just so you know, you can purchase this stuff on Timu. So I want to let you know that it's there if you need it. <clears throat> okay, this is a heavy thing here. Did I buy some perfume? Because if I did... Okay, this, yeah, okay, this is probably the last bottle of, of perfume or scent that I bought off Timu because I just don't like their perfume. I, it's just, it, it's so, like, random, like, whether it's going to be good or not, and it never smells the same when I buy it again, so. This one caught my eye because they, it was called Pineapple Wood Tone, and I love pineapple scented or pineapple flavored anything, literally anything. Like, pineapple is my jam, okay? So 663, this is what the box looks like. Bade ed ed I don't freaking I don't freaking know what this is. I'm I don't I'm not good at this kind of stuff. Mood Amor. Mood Amor. Um, but yeah, it's it says pineapple wood tone. Let's see if it smells anything like a pineapple or anything like anything. I love the bottle, though. The bottle's everything. I I'll tell you that. Look at that. I love it. It's like uh, white with this really beautiful like gold label on it. It's really pretty, but let's see what it smells like No, it's not pineapple-y at all It's perfumey, but it's not pineapple-y. Um, so that's unfortunate Ugh, I mean, it's not bad it's just not what I was expecting. So it's perfume. It smells like perfume, if that makes sense. It's like a perfumey type of smell. Um, I can't really pick out any like certain notes because it doesn't smell like fruit. It just smells, it, it literally just smells like perfume. I don't know. So definitely no, um, no pineapple to it at all, which I was afraid of. This is why I don't like to buy Timu 
perfumes or colognes or body sprays or anything because they never smell like what they're supposed to. I have had a couple good, um, what are those called? The Sol de Janeiro dupes. I've had a couple good ones and I've had a couple of bad ones. There, there are other ones that seem like very random. So anyway, let's move on, shall we? Okay, I bought another one of those lippies. This one is color number eight. These were $1.48. I love a good lippy for $1.48. I think that's a bargain. And they very much remind me of like ColourPop. So this is number eight. It's more of a pink tone. Really pretty. They're all really pretty. Honestly, I would buy every single one of these. They're very, very pretty. For $1.48? Heck yeah. Okay, then I think I bought a bunch of these because I'm going to put these into a future giveaway. I don't know if there's any more in here, but we'll get to them if there are. <clears throat> these are uh, like oil absorbing powders and they were 97 cents each or maybe I bought them because they were 97 cents but they're all different and I don't know if they smell different or if they're just saying they're different hey everybody sorry about that I had to take a phone call so I had to stop my video and so if it looks different that's why but anyways let's get back to these oil absorbing blotters so this one says it's green tea, this one says it's chamomile, this one says bamboo charcoal, and this one says, I put the sticker right over it so I have no idea. Maybe it's cherry blossom, I don't know, but I don't know if they're scented or if they're just, this one doesn't smell like anything, so I, I don't know if it's just like their theme, because they don't seem to be scented, but I was going to keep these for like friend mail or a giveaway or something, so I won't open these, and then I'll keep these for myself, because I just opened them and sniffed them, <laughs> but I just thought maybe they were scented, because, you know, they, they say something on them. I don't know what this one even says. Um, there's a hundred pieces in here for a dollar, and they're just like oil-absorbing sheets that you can put in your purse or whatever, and I'm probably... Oh yeah, I probably got some oil going on because I feel like I'm getting a little hot and sweaty down here in my menopausal days. Yeah, so I think they work, but um, yeah, you get 100 of them for 97 cents. Now, I don't know if they're still 97 cents, but they seem to work, so that's good. Okay, I have bought this before, and I'm probably going to throw this right in the trash can. It was $1.99. It's the Rosemary Oil for Hair which they say it's rosemary oil, but I really, I haven't bought one yet that smells like rosemary or this bottle's actually, it looks like it's half of it spilled out. Now this one smells like something. It smells like lavender. I don't know. It It's definitely oil though, the, but I just don't know if I trust these to be the product it says. And I've decided recently not to buy stuff like this anymore because it says rosemary, rosemary oil for hair and scalp, but it doesn't ever smell like rosemary. At least this one looks oily, but it just doesn't have that rosemary smell. And I'm like, well, if it's rosemary, then it almost smells like lavender to me. And maybe there's lavender oil supposedly in it, but... I don't know, you know? And I just, I'm tired of buying stuff that isn't what it says it is. So I don't know. I mean, it smells like, it does not smell like rosemary to me. So I don't know. We'll put that to the side. I, I don't know why. <sighs> I've quit buying that stuff. So that's probably the last bottle, bottle of it you'll see on this channel, or I hope. Okay, here are those like 3M sticky nail tabs I was kind of talking about that I have on. So this is a set of, you get 480 in this whole thing for 386. And I was just thinking that maybe if I bought, like, you know, the actual nail tabs that they might be a little bit different because these actually, they, like, say, like, nail adhesive on them and whatnot. So I'm thinking, well, maybe they're better than the other ones. I don't know. So I thought I would try them. And I wear nails all the time, so I'll go through these in no time. But you get 480 of them for $3.86, so that's, that's pretty good, I think. Okay, okay, that is so funny. I have this in my cart right now, and I'm pretty sure that I just saw Simply Jessica Marie put this on. It was $2.24. It's like a, a shiny lip oil that kind of changes color with your, um, your tone, the tone of your skin, I think. Changes from black to energetic pink. At least that's what it says on here anyway. But it's uh, Quebest, Quebest Shiny Lip Oil. 
but hers had glitter. I don't know if this one does or not. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's like a blue, almost like a blue glitter. Um, oh, I'm scared to pull it out. There it is. It smells kind of weird, but when you put it on, it, do it doesn't look like black, black. It's not like black, black. You know what I mean? Like it's right there, that shiny. It's got like a dark, rosy kind of hue to it. And I'm thinking it'll change color as I wear it. Um, but she she put it on and it, you know, it, it looks black in the tube, but it's obviously not black. And that is so funny because I saw her haul this and I added it to my cardigan. And isn't that something that it's in this haul? That's funny. So yeah, pretty nifty. But yeah, it's kind of even changing color on my skin. It's just getting like a little more rosy kind of nude color going on there. So that's kind of cool. I'm just afraid it's going to stick to something. So I'm going to wipe it off a little bit here. You know what? It might. St it looks like it might be a lip stain because look at my hand. There's like a stain right there. Might be a lip stain. So keep that in mind. All right, let's dig deep here. Okay, so here are a couple more of those wig grips that I was talking about, and I'm going to put those, um, I'm going to put them to the side, but this one was 171 and 179. Those are going to be for my wig video, so we'll go over those another time. And two more items. Now, here we go again with this. You guys, I keep doing this to myself. I got another rosemary oil. See, I keep buying them thinking I'm going to run into one that's decent, but I haven't yet. This one is, how much was this? $249. Um... This is actually in a bigger package, but this is what it looks like on the package, and I can just never get one that smells like rosemary. Ah, this one's leaking too. It's like leaking around the top. This one actually kind of smells like rosemary though, believe it or not. Yeah, I, I would say this one out of all of them smells the most like rosemary. Now I got oil all over my hands, but this is what the bottle looks like. But this is literally the first one I've got that actually smells like rosemary, which so it makes me think there's rosemary actually in it. <laughs> the other ones did not smell like that. So, yeah. I don't know. It says shelf life three years. Um, it says ingredients. Rosemary leaf oil is the first ingredient. It's got jojoba seed oil in it. Biotin, olea, olive fruit oil, um, sweet almond oil, linseed oil. This one seems like the best one I've gotten so far. This one doesn't even have the... See, this one says rosemary oil, mint, green tea, coconut. But it, do it doesn't smell like any of that stuff. So that makes me wonder if it... Anyway. Alright, last but certainly not least is this little um perfume diffuser and i'm probably i probably bought this because i bought that pep that pe blah, 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 pineapple perfume that didn't smell like pineapple but i bought several of these for my perfumes and they, they're only 66 cents it's like a little atomizer i love these things oscar oscar's talking so you put i'll sh actually show you how to do it but so you get the, it's just a little atomizer you get the little top is like a little spray bottle and on the bottom here is where you put the put the um perfume at i will show you how to do this because i love these things so you take your perfume bottle and you pull the cap off and so you have this white tab right there and you just line it up line your this white tab up with this hole right here and you pump it pump 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 and it fills up this I'll show you I'll fill it up halfway so you just keep pumping it till you fill it up now I'm gonna fill, only fill it up like halfway because I don't really like this perfume <laughs> I don't want to do it on my table because it's probably making a lot of noise but if you can see in there hopefully you can see there's a fluid in there now hopefully you can see it hopefully anyway I don't know but yeah, I mean, it actually works. So if you want to take perfume like from your bottle to work or put some in your purse and you don't want to carry your whole bottle or you're going camping or you're going, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, really handy and convenient. And uh, I used to pay big money for these. So for 66 cents for this, great stocking stuff for you guys. Great stocking stuff for buy someone like 
couple bottles of perfume and a few of those for their purse. That'd be a great, great gift for Christmas. Okay, thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope you give me a like. Give me a thumbs up if you're watching. And please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!